So this is my Birmingham house. Just walk into the living room. You can see my cat asleep on the settee like usual. She's quite a large cat, as you can tell. We have a nice big telly, and the Christmas tree's just been put up with pretty decorations, which looks really nice. And then we've got a second bit to the living room, and on the right, there's a cupboard full of junk, mainly stuff like paint and that we don't need. And there's a caricature of me when I was two, which is nice to be seen displayed. Not. This is our garden. Um, we can see over a whole entire area, so it's a really nice view. You can sometimes see into people's houses, which is quite funny, but also a little bit wrong. Next is the downstairs bedroom, which we're not using as a bedroom at the moment. Some presents my mum's wrapped up for Christmas. Um, junk, treadmill, row machine, which I really never, ever use. This is the bathroom, which is what the main bathroom we use. It's got a walk-in shower, so the floor is just one big floor. Next, we'll go into the kitchen. As we walk in, you can see my mum. She's starting to cook something. Looks like a big vat of meat and onion, so she must be doing a cottage pie of some sort. This is the rest of the kitchen. It's really tidy at the moment. Um, if we walk over to the window, you get a view of the neighbourhood. It's really nice, actually. It's quite a lovely view. This is the garage, which is full of um, old power tools. And at the moment, it's mainly full of blinds because that's what my stepdad sells. That's his business. And there's this big fridge over there and small boxes and ladders and stuff. Now, if we go up the stairs, you notice we've got a little bit of a wind to it, which I really like, but it's fairly boring, to be honest. This is the first room, which is my stepdad's office, full of typical office stuff like files and computer and that. This is his room with my mum. It's a nice room, but I'm not too sure the green they could. So we walk past mine and go to the bathroom now. You know, it needs a bit of a revamp. Lots of toiletries and a view, standard stuff. This is my bedroom. You'll notice the mess straight away. It is all organised mess, I will say that. Like those things there I'm currently using on a regular basis. I have my telly and my really nice cupboard full of videos that I used to collect up until about 2003 when they stopped selling them really. Uh, they go back three rows so there's a lot there. The other side is just full of fancy clothes, guitar, guitar amp, etc. That's where I usually do my hair in my bedroom. Now you'll see all my friends videos. The front row goes from series one all the way down to series five right at the end. I have got all of them, the rest are just at the back. These are all my girly books. I do like chiclet, I will admit. Harry Potter in the middle there though. This is the front of my door, but if you go to the back, you'll notice it's completely different. Mainly full of memoirs from my teen years. Just try and get it all on camera, but there's quite a lot to take in, so it's quite hard to get it all on. Yeah, so if we go in for a closer look, I'll give you an idea of what sort of things are on there. Here's a theatre ticket to see To Kill a Mockingbird, because I used to go to the theatre with theatre studies. Lots of cinema tickets, all really old ones there. I've got loads more to put up, but I just haven't got round to it, really. There's an envelope for my 17th birthday a friend in. There's another theatre ticket, Cymbeline. It's like Cinderella, but weirder. Teen Culture, the teen club I used to go to when I was younger. Brandy and my favourite band who I've seen live twice. That's the first time. Mr Jennifer Webb there. I noticed the mail service for having a bit of a laugh that day. Some of my school friends, not all of them, I speak to most of them there now, and there's me in the corner. If we go down to another photo, there's a few of my friends. I don't speak to one of them, but the blonde one there is my best friend. I've been best friends for about five years with her. And lastly, there's a sport from a spud place we used to go to.